Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today we're with a 1965 black bomber tank that's rusty on the inside, a bucket of old vinegar, and a fountain pump. Let me show you what we're doing. Okay, so that's what the tank looks like. Let me see if I can get you. Tank is rusty. It's not awful. It's not the worst tank I've ever seen. Like I said, it's not the worst tank I've ever seen, but it's not the best when you look in there. It's, if you can see in there, it's pretty rusty. So we're gonna de-rust it. This is what I'm using. This is the pump that I'm using. I just got this guy at Harbor Freight. You can tell it's been used a bunch. Uh, the vinegar that's in here, is, start off as four gallons of vinegar. It's evaporated out over time. I think this will be the third tank that I use on it. All you do is drop it in, plug it in. I took the hose and for this tank, I, uh, down, I downsized the tube, just jammed a smaller tube in there, so a hose in there so that it'll come out with a little bit more force. So that's what I'm hoping for. And now we're just flowing right here. And let it just keep cooking. I like doing it this way versus just filling the tank up with vinegar. This, the motion of the water, the motion of the ocean, so to speak, kind of agitates it and rinses stuff down. It tends to clean out a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. Plus it sounds like a little fountain. I may leave this on for a little while, see who has to go to the bathroom. Just hit pause if you have to go. Just don't think about it and you'll be able to make it through the video. I went ahead and pulled the end of the hose off. That restricted it, downsized it because it was just restricting it too much. Now it's coming out way better. Look at the flow underneath. Now again, I didn't start with clean vinegar. This is gonna be dirty anyway, but it should get dirtier as we move through. But now it's, now it's just flowing so much better. I like that, I like that better. Again, this is like the third or fourth tank I did with this bucket of vinegar. Okay guys, this is the CL350 tank that we polished up and look at the inside. It was all rusty before and we hit it with the, for two days just with the vinegar fountain running in it and look at how clean it is. And I didn't do, all I did was rinse it out with some uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid, shook it out, got it to where it ran clear as far as the uh, no soap or anything. Then put the shot back in the end of it, drying it until let it run like that for a couple hours till it was bone dry. I um, put a couple of squirts of oil in it and then put uh, the shot back blowing through it again for about another 15, 20 minutes just to get that oil everywhere. And this is what we ended up with. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Now, Guys, you don't have to go out and buy one of these um, fountain pumps. I guess they're pond pumps, whatever you want to call them, fountain pumps. They, uh, I think at Harbor Freight, I think they're like 15 bucks. At Home Depot, they're like 15, 20 dollars, somewhere in there. Lowe's be the same price. If you have a little pump laying around, you could use that. These are way more expensive, but you got to use a 12 volt system for it. I like those other ones. They're super cheap. I don't have to worry about it. If if I destroy it, I throw it away and go get another one. Okay, let's check in on our rust fountain. It has been about an hour since we started cooking here. Let me see if you can see in here. Look, you're already starting to see bare metal in there again, which is awesome. It's not everywhere yet, but it's, it's gonna spread just like the rust did. All right, so we're gonna let it keep cooking. We'll check back in a little while. Two hours later. Let's look in here. Looks like we're cleaning up pretty good. Let's go rinse it out and see where we are. Little Dawn dishwashing liquid. Okay. 
Dump it out. Look at it already. It's right, right there. It's getting there. You can see it down in there. It's getting there. I just wanted to rinse out some of that because it'll help to Clean it some more. Yeah, we're doing good. It's getting it out. Let's look down this way. Sorry, I apologize for this being so tough to see. But it's good. It's cleaning. There we go. It's flowing again. Like I said, this is the third, third tank, I believe, that I've done with this, these four gallons, what started as four gallons of, of vinegar. I'd like to figure out a way to filter it so that uh, this juice stays a little clearer as it's cycling through. We get out more of the other stuff. I don't know if that's that big of a deal. You know, you just get new vinegar and you put it in there. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I think we could do a couple of different things. We can definitely improve on version 1.0. And then also let me know what are some of your concoctions you'd like to see run through the rust fountain if you have a secret concoction you want to use let's i'm trying to avoid uh evapor rust rust dissolver any of those other things because they're for the for four gallons it's a hundred plus dollars so I, I i don't see that for four gallons of this i'm at like 12 12 dollars maybe less than that i'll have to look up what vinegar costs um but that's easy. So if, if you have a special concoction, it's got to fit in that range. Meaning I got to be able to buy four gallons of it and it's got to be less than $20 total. Um, so let me know what you come up with or somewhere around that. How about we do less than $30? Let me know you, what, what you would like to see run through this. I got other tanks up in the attic that we can, we can de-rust and try out other concoctions using the rust fountain. Okay guys, so it's the next morning. You can see that, look at the, the color difference here, what, what we're looking at now. Now again, I didn't start with clean. It looks like coffee. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Let's go ahead and shut this sucker off and rinse it out. Look, you can definitely see it now. Look at the difference. That was just overnight. It's pretty crazy when you look in there. Let's see if I can stay in the light. Yeah, let's dry it out. Okay, here's our setup. We got the shop vac hooked up on the exhaust side. Had to run it, run in a smaller little hose just to downsize it. And then you just punch the button. And then you just walk away and go do something else for 30, 40 minutes. Okay guys, here we are. We've got the tank finished drying. Let's see if I can get a little light. And look at it in there. I know, shield your eyes. It's crazy. Gotta love it, super clean. All that quick, this one too. All using the rust fountain, patent pending. So guys, amazing results using the rust fountain and you saw the before and after. I didn't start with clean vinegar. It looked like this when we started, and then it looked like this when we finished. Amazing, amazing that just by cycling, it just keeps moving down, and so much of that is settled into the bottom of that bucket. I think it was awesome. I think it came out great. The one thing I've noticed from doing it with the fountain, and I don't know if this to be true or whatever, I've got a limited sample set, so don't hold me to it. It doesn't seem to flash rust as quickly. I don't know if that's just the last four or five tanks I've done, have done that, or it's just, it works. Again, anecdotal evidence. So take that for a grain of salt or a pound of vinegar, four gallons of vinegar. 
So guys, I want to thank you for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.